Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Do you know what I'm going to say? <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know, why wasting time? You know? Ego Speaking about uh, Grand Sheikh and Maulana Sheikh Nazim's how they relationship and how they interact and so on, and how much they were living simple, very simple life. And how they were living simple life. Now that simple life, I don't believe anyone of us can live it. That does not mean that you will not try it, but this one cannot try it. <laughs> He and his wife. Because they believe the white people is, uh, they use them as slave. If Allah, let me ask a question. If Allah didn't want, if the whole world comes to make one person slave, cannot. Allah, there is wisdom in everything. Allah wants to plant Africa in America. <laughs> to show solidarity. <laughs> so why to object? <laughs> Happy. <laughs> ولله في خلقه شؤون ولله في خلقه شؤون الله سبحانه وتعالى in his servants he has his own reasons but servant they are like fish in an ocean they are shaking so when they shake in an, uh, through an Allah's order means they are not accepting so they are thrown in the can yes, sardine can <laughs> put them in sardine can that's why in sardine can you find the silver, you find the black, you find the white, you find all kinds of fish and they become smelly fish because they put salt on it <laughs> you'll be salt you are they put salt on you or not yet yes. and so if they put salt on you salt takes all poison away <laughs> so awliya Allah as we said People they think that a wali, if I say, I go to Sahib's house and he open his house and he gives this, he gives that, he entertain you, he makes you happy, say, MashaAllah, he's big wali. <laughs> huh? He is Jafar. You know Jafar? No, no. Where is that Jafar? In Ala ad din story. Jafar. The, 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 the genie. look his turban <laughs> with, uh, with his clothes technicolor <laughs> <laughs> they look at him they say oh mashallah this is wali 
That's, that's people how they think. Uh, you want the wilaya from a person telling you you are wali? Or you want the wilaya from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Sayyidina Imam Ghazali, who everyone reads his books today, is not? And they sell his books even in places where they do not accept tasawwuf, they sell the, his books there. And he is telling his story. He said, at the beginning of my matter, I was completely doubtful in everything. I doubt Prophet, I doubt Allah, I doubt Sharia, I doubt Tasawwu, I doubt everything. I, I cannot believe. He is saying, until, until one day, I took a sheikh. So, By as soon as you, the moment that you accept a share, they put you on <coughs> the right track, Sirat al Mustaqim. No share, would waste your, you are wasting your time. And the share must be, as we said yesterday, the Buddha min Murshid al Hassi. It is important to have a sheikh that he is phys physically with you. Not only physical, hasseh. Hasseh, that means existing. Can, you can see him because he has has because he feels that you feel that if you touch him, he sees you, look at you. If you but also, hasseh means it has means the other meaning of the word is they look huh? is able to perceive is able to perceive his their followers who came to them in order to bring back them to Sirat al Mustaqim. And yani that's why you need a, a wali that already been dressed two dresses. Physical appearance has to appear. And he is dressed spiritual feeling that he can feel everything you feel. That's why we were being taught in Grand Sheikh time, it was at that time was mostly teaching. Now with Maulana Sheikh Nazim, may Allah give him long life. Is I don't see the teaching that Maulana Sheikh Nazim used to teach, but today it's mixed, as I said before, with democracy, 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 and then ego, ego, ego. That's it. But we were seeing the, we were being taught from Grand Sheikh how to be in their presence. In his presence, can you look into the eyes of the Sheikh? You look like this. <laughs> you yastarakuna nazar. You peek, peek. And listening or taking notes. And you go home, you study what he said. Anyone studying? 
they have time, they make, oh, we are doing big work. What you are doing, Sufi life? As soon as they put it there, they forgot about it and what is in it. Yeah. Correct? Yes. So, Sheikh, the Sheikh is the one that brings you back by, through his feelings, he feels you, he can see even he is in the east, you are in the west, he can see you, he can hear your movement. Do you hear, he said, a worm moving on a flat marble? Awliya Allah, they hear the sound of friction between the legs of that worm and the marble. They can hear that sound like thunder from east to west. So they can see their power is not simple power. That's why they can reach anyone who is running, bring him back at any time. And many of these students, they run away at ISO in time of Grand Sheikh and Maulana Sheikh Nazim and they came back. There is no choice. Not only they came back because it is said that if you accept, if you accept without doubt what the Sheikh said, even to you it doesn't make sense or you might disagree on it because it might interfere with your own decision on, in your, on, on your own business. If you do the, what the Sheikh said, and you might lose, but that loss will be like a camouflage. He said, if you accept, if you don't accept, you don't see this. If you accept what the Sheikh is telling you on your business to do something, and it is against your will, but you listen to the Sheikh, you did it, Allah will open for you a door from another side that you were not expecting, bigger than this door, Allah knows how much. But we are Khalili al-Atiqad. Our Atiqad is weak. We cannot Listen, we cannot accept. Malik Sheikh Tahir. So Imam Al Ghazali was doubting. Is the answer accepting? Left him. But he had that love to the Sheikh. So slowly, slowly, he is building up with that love. Until one day, uh, he is making dua, Ya Rabbi, show me something that is correct, that I, I leave this doubt out. And one night he saw Allah in the dream coming to him. He said, Ya Abu Hamid, why you are running from us? We are coming to you. We are coming to you, our doors are open. But come. He said, I wake up from my dream, jumping very happy. Never I saw such dream. Who can see Allah in dream? Huh? There are some. People can see. I saw sometimes. Uh, 
immediately Abu Han Ghazali wake up, pray two rakats, running to his Sheikh Yusuf al Nasaj, telling him their dream. And he said to him, Ya Abu, Ya Abu Hamid, what you saw is something very the beginning this is our blackboards full of these knowledges that you need look at them this is yet from within you we are giving now tell me what you see more he said and Allah said to me اخرج من الدنيا اختيارا قبل ان تخرج منها صاغرا leave this dunya through your voluntary way choice leave the dunya by your choice before you are going to leave it by force صاغرا يعني by force يعني like it force. by force by by huge power there's no way you are going to be in it you are going to go out اخرج من الدنيا باختيارك قبل ان تخرج منها صاغرا leave the dunya with your will or your choice before you leave it by force or they take you away from it he said I dropped everything after I saw that dream ran to my sheikh and my sheikh said yeah Abu Hamid these are still knowledge from the board we didn't yet from you within you we didn't yet give you from outside Tajalli knowledge that's that's why it is said The first what the, the Salik seeker in Tariqa has to begin with what? What is the first step? We mentioned it to yesterday. What is the first step? See, for God. First step in Tariqa is to know that you were sinner and to make tawbah so first uh, first step you put in this way is to repent and make istighfar asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness and to regret what have you done all your life to remember every moment of your life what you did how many they will come too many how many two <laughs> too many it is too many So whatever you have made of sin by when you uh, you make istighfar you begin to remember all your sins then you need a huge machine spiritual machine to clean you huh? where you go we have a door ولو انه اذ ظلموا انفسهم ولو أنهم إذ ظلموا أنفسهم جاءوك فاستغفروا الله واستغفر لهم الرسول لوجدوا الله توابا رحيما
They, can, they have to come to Muhammad There is no other door, he's the door. You don't want to go to his door, okay, stay on the side. They don't care, they don't open. You are seeking him, you, they let you in. Wahhabi doesn't want to go, it's up to them. So if you have something wrong, pray to Raka'at, sit towards Qubla and recite the ayah, وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ إِذْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ جَاءُوكَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُ اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفَرَ اللَّهُمُ الرَّسُولُ لَوَجَدُ اللَّهَ تَوَّابًا رَحِيمًا يَا سَيِّدِي يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ We came to you, we know that you did a lot of sin and Allah ordered us in Holy Quran to come to you. So where to go? Is there any other door? Ya Sayyidi, there is no other door. It's your door, I'm coming. Now you accept me is from your fadl. Generosity. If you don't accept me, please accept me, what I can do. And there in his presence, when you are closing your eyes, so you make istighfar 70 times. And at that time he will do istighfar on your behalf. Then your sins are forgiven. So now you do another sins, more sins, similar. So, in the Nakshbandi order, you have to get a sheikh that is not plastic. It has to be a real sheikh. If you don't get a real sheikh, these doors will not open. Because you cannot go to the Prophet by yourself. When you make the two, two rak'at, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah, you have to feel the presence and notice the presence of your Shaykh that is taking you to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If he is not taking you, means your connection is not working. Like this connection there is covered by a ladder. Not to be seen that he didn't finish it yet. <laughs> it's the connection is not yet. You need to work on it. So you have to get a sheikh to guide you. But on condition that you have to submit completely well, in Qiyadlahu, you have to submit to him. Means whatever he says, you say, Sama'na wa ata'na. Even he comes to you and say, I saw in the dream and that I want to slaughter you for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> but you have to say, Sama'na wa ata'na. Like what happened with Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. Awliya Allah wa rasatul al awliya wa rasatul anbiya. Awliya inheritors of Prophet. Allah is trying you. So what you have to say? Samana wa ta'a. You take your, your child and you say, Oh, my Shaykh told me to do this or do that or whatever. Any, any, anything that is difficult to make. You have to do it. Even you know that you cannot do it. Go and do it. It's not only he said Ma'at Taslim to be submitting and accepting, taking and doing what he said. He said Wal Inqiyad. Wal Inqiyad means uh, look, look like I don't like to give that example because many crazy people might say, oh, what is this example? But we can, we can change that example, make it nicer. If you have a bridle on the horse and pulling the bridle, what is the horse do? Keep following. This is in Qiyad. Means your duty is to follow. Not uh, make her sometime raise his uh, 
uh, legs and say what? <laughs> the so there is a sound. <laughs> <laughs> this sound it means I don't want. You cannot say I don't want. In Qiyad means wherever he takes you even to the valley and throw you in and you were rolling, rolling, rolling and going all the way in the valley don't say, oh what the Sheikh said because no, this is, this is the beginning oh. he might send down hyena <laughs> to take your skin and eat you it's not yet finished so he said, "Ma'at taslim wal inqiyad lahu," by submission and to follow. What is that word inqiyad? Subjugate. Make yourself subjugate. Wa salb al ikhtiyar ma'hu. Wa salb al ikhtiyar ma'hu, and don't leave him a will. You must not leave a will beside your sheikh's will. Your sheikh's will has to work, your will is gone. Do we do that? No. You say one word, they come hundred words from here and there saying to you, no, you are wrong, we are right. And you have to believe that he is a wali and he is your guide to Allah's presence. You must keep that i'tiqad. If that i'tiqad goes, nothing works. Grand Shaykh, may Allah bless his soul, he used to say that i'tiqad makes you to, to follow the Shaykh and to do his whatever he orders you, you do. So i'tiqad what save you. you your belief what cures you you cannot cure yourself because is n if it is not your i'tiqad that this sheikh can take me to Allah's presence because of your i'tiqad like that you will be in Allah's presence even sometimes the sheikh is not of the high caliber mm -hmm. but your i'tiqad open doors for you do you have a card now in Ali? <laughs> <laughs> Give him your hands. Give him my ah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to know that he is more yani ya'tuf alayk aksar min nafsak. He cares for you more than you care for yourself. And he will give you, if he orders you, Hisham. Maulana is ordering Hisham. Leave this project or leave this Amr. I give you, uh, you leave this Amr. You have to believe when he said to you, leave that. He is going to give you something more precious. Don't underestimate the generosity of the Sheikh. When he orders and you listen, you get better. But when he orders and you don't listen, you want to keep what is your mind, you get less. Or you don't get anything. So whatever the Sheikh say, leave that, leave it. Take that, take it. That's why he said, وَأَنَّهُ لَا يَأْمُرُهُ قَطٌ بِتَرْكِ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا لِيَعْطِيَهُ أَنْفَسَ مِنْهُ He will not ask him to leave something except because He's going to give more precious, something more precious to him. If the Murid does not believe that, 
فإن لم يعتقده كذلك فمحبته نفاق If he doesn't believe that His love to his sheikh is hypocrisy When you love your sheikh and your sheikh say to you You are responsible for this job You have to do it more perfect than anyone ask you to do it yeah. Or your love to the sheikh is hypocrisy You are loving him only for manfa, for benefit وَلَا يَنْتَفِعُ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنْ أَخْلَاقِهِ And even you stayed with him 30 years, he said وَإِنْ صَحَبَهُ أَكْثَرَ مِنْ سَلَاسِينَ سَنَا Even you with him more than 30 years If you don't believe and that he is going to give you more precious by ordering you Means you, you, your love is hypocrisy and you are not going to benefit anything from his good characters even you are in his presence 30 years that's why there are people who comes for first time to the sheikh and there are senior murid sitting there and the sheikh come and he say you are sheikh of I'm giving you ijazah you are sheikh of this whole city and the peers of that city are sitting and he didn't tell them that why? because this one in his heart is more connected than the other ones their other ones their love is hypocrisy two times now there is one person coming to Maulana Sheikh Nazim He is a teacher, stud, uh, class teacher, and he does some poetry. And he comes to his Maulana for one week and go. First time I saw him on Sufi life, one year and a half might be. And I was uh, doing, writing poetry, he was writing poetry, and I am on Sufi Life with Maulana on phone, reciting for him poetry, he is on the other side reciting poetry. Maulana was happy. This time, they told me that Maulana told him when he came, I am putting you Khalifa on Sham. I don't want you to go and he said what you are doing? He said I'm a teacher for children. He said stop that. I want you to go to all closed Sufi Dargas, not only Nakshbandi but too many there are. Try to open them and do in every one zikr. I'm making I'm giving yeah, not Khalifa but I'm making this job for you from two meetings and he gave him long long paper of Khilafa uh, he, he saw in him something he didn't see in others he gave it to him so Awliya Allah, when you are submitting to them and accepting what they say without uh, coming out from the ocean, the fish shaking, you will get more benefit than anyone else. I was surprised when I heard that he wrote him that kind of paper. Another story, that big, big, more important than this one. Maulana sent, last year I think, yeah, yeah last year, Sheikh Adnan, Sheikh Muhammad, 
حاجي مستان البقعي تركي and when called أحمد ياسين for seclusion the best two seclusions were Sheikh Adnan and Sheikh Muhammad the other they were talking they were doing this they were doing that and they want to finish quickly they cannot take it and so on in any case they slowly slowly they finish the seclusion Ahmad Yassin is very well known who is what is his background I was in Damascus and sitting on Maulana's table and they ca he came Ahmad Yassin and everyone began to say what Ahmad Yassin did I'm hearing and they said he shooted a man in his leg <laughs> and now Maulana Sheikh is so angry with him that he called him to the table to scold him he was sitting on the table eating I'm sitting there looking what's going to happen and food is finished Put it, take the food away Aisha prayer we prayed Aisha and Paulana pulled a big paper and wrote for him a written khilafa with a written ijaza two pages everyone was <laughs> going out of his clothes <laughs> instead of shouting at him he gave him ijaza what you in such a situation what you need to do he said here التسليم والانقياد له he is doing a test for everyone sitting there not for that person but through that person he is making a test to everyone there to see if they are going to surrender and انقياد uh, to follow and to accept what his decision and and he say وَأَنَّهُ أَشْفَقَ عَلَيْهِ وَأَنَّهُ أَشْفَقُ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ نَفْسِهِ the sheikh more shafaka care has towards his student than the student himself so this to show how much we need to build our uh, knowledge in order to keep our love not to be uh, love nifaq nifaq hypocrisy. hypocrisy our love might be clean might be mingled mingled or mixed with with hi hypocrisy so that has to be eliminated that is the work of awliyaullah to take from their murid that hypocrisy and to keep them on the right way وينبغي للمريد أن يعتقد وبجزم ويجزم بأن ما قاله الشيخ ووعده حق لا بد من وقوعه مريد has to believe 100% no doubt whatever the sheikh has said and promised him has to happen It doesn't happen today, it happened in the grave. What is the big issue? Which is more uh, complicated life? Not the grave. The grave, you know, either you are in paradise or you are in difficulty. So instead of not going in difficulty, go every day to the presence of Prophet وسلم, through that ayah and ask, Ya Sayyidi, Ya Rasulullah, I came to you. That's why Hujjat al-Islam al-Ghazali what he said وَمَنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ شَيْخٌ يَهْدِيهِ قَادَهُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَى الْهَاوِيَةِ أو إِلَى مَهَاوِيَةِ If you don't have a sheikh that guides you guides you where? guides you how? 
will come through it. Shaitan will take you to places where is the hawa, the desires, the self desires. He take you to the self desires, corrupt you. If you don't have a sheikh that guide you, guide you how, guide you where. He has to guide even every drop of your blood where it has to go. And he is surrendering, but he is seeing. Allah gave him power. He can see, he can hear. Depend the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Might be a curly hair, greasy hair. People are disgusted from him. If you ask Allah, Allah will give him. He's pious. Allah doesn't look at your outside. So inside. So the duty of the Sheikh not to fix the outside. You fix your outside. He has to fix your inside. So how to fix your outside? Huh? Why you don't know? <laughs> huh? Like that. Keep smiling. <laughs> Keep smiling. Be humble. That's for the outside. People like you. When someone is humble and keeps smiling in their faces, I know someone here in this room that always, whenever uh, uh, that person wants to say one word, he smiles. On the telephone, on the a conversation, buying the sandwich, uh, buying ice cream, yogurt, ice cream, <laughs> diet ice cream. Any moment when they speak, they laugh. I asked, what is this? They said, oh, this is a course they take in university in order to make you, when you speak with people, to be more acceptable. You saw that before? Huh? Nothing like that. We never learned that. Even say, Salaamu Alaikum. <laughs> Salaamu Alaikum. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> and that person, this comes out. Like you. Shining because you know why? Black beard. <laughs> <laughs> Allah Allah. Qala al Imam al Sha'rani, one of the, you know, one of the famous scholars of Egypt, Imam al Sha'rani, fi lata'if al Minan, in his book. He said that lot, lot of Muslim in Egypt believes in me. And they come to me sick. And you know how I treat them? I pull one kasha, one straw from the floor. And I give to him and say, go to the sick person. Bakhrofia, make make it like bakhur, put it on coal, and the smoke comes round around him, he will be cured. And they go and they cured. He said, they think that I'll, that straw say uh, cured them. That straw is nothing. It's like, it's like a psychological issue. You draw their attention to something, their belief goes there, their belief uh, save them, cure them, not the straw. And shifa, because of atikad, belief of the murid, that Allah is curing him, he is cured. <coughs> But you have to show him to focus on something. 
If he doesn't focus on something, there is no way to cure. So the, we made them to focus on straw. He said, the other thing I make them to focus on and make them, I write something on a paper, make it hers, Tawis, give it to them. They, their, their belief is attracted to that, it's to work like a magnet. Attracted, it cured them. It's Allah's words there. Is enough for today? Tomorrow we have another important. He translated, I asked him to translate this section. Inshallah, we'll mention that tomorrow. But yesterday we stopped at one point and we said tomorrow we continue. What was that point? Tahir? About Grand Sheikh, I think. When Malana Sheikh knocked at the door of Grand Sheikh. Ah? When Malana Sheikh first time knocked at the door of Grand Sheikh. Ah, in Hayul Maidan, which they have too much problems to, to these days there. Okay, we keep it till tomorrow, inshallah. What happened there? What happened there? A Sheikh to a Murid. لا ينتفع بالشيخ أولاده Translate The children of the Sheikh do, do not benefit with him by him It's coming Big, big blow Ya Allah